what's up how you doing here we are in the evening hours just got this uh, Madonna CD Madonna it says 50 number ones finally enough love three CDs celebration of Madonna's 50 number one club hits featuring dance remixes of into the groove like a prayer secret frozen hung up uh, living for love and rare and unreleased versions all newly remastered that's what I like to hear remastered when I hear remastered I have to go and get it it's such a big difference but Madonna um, in my in my prime she was huge huge and uh, I remember back in high school there was a kid in my class I'm not going to give the last name, but his name was Bill, and he was a crazy Madonna fan. Like, I think he was in love with her at the time. Like, he had that feeling like he was in love with her, and he, he was in love with her, but uh, he never met her. And every day, he would be in dreamland thinking of Madonna. So, <clears throat> I mean, I like Madonna. I still like Madonna. Is it Chaconi? Chaconi. So, you know, uh, she had a lot of hits. Out, and, and these are like, you know, these are like nightclub songs. I'm not a fan of nightclubs. Uh, I do not like them. But, you know, I will listen to this. And uh, I really like the song. I don't think it's on here. But it's from that movie, League of Their Own. I like that song, This Used to Be My Playground. Very emotional song. Makes you think of the old neighborhood. You know, walking through the streets that you used to hang around in. And um, and many years have passed now. So, play this in the car. The best place to listen to music is in the car. I mean, you can get some good headphones and be at home and listen. But the car... You get the highway, you get the music going. There's no better combination than being in the car and taking a cruise. So maybe open this up, check it out. You got that. Wow, it's got all the covers. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'd like to see this. It used to be my playground remixed. Isn't that cool? Look at this. As the guy said in Rocky. Or Rocky said in Rocky to the bartender, took his best shot and became champion of the world. She took her best shot and became a superstar. So I'll listen to that in the car. There's so many good songs. She's another example. Uh, when I hear her stuff, brings me back to that moment when I first heard her music. And whatever it was I was going through, you relive it. So, got one of my favorite music magazines, this one, and um, so I like this one in Mojo. I don't have a copy of Mojo in here. I don't. I don't think so. Maybe that's no. I do have the Ring, which is another magazine I enjoy. But uh, if you want, if you want good uh, music reviews, pick up Uncut or Mojo. It's a great magazine. Miles Davis, this guy here. If you listen to his music, it's it's so like it's beyond awesome, beyond awesome. But they have a whole section of him on him in here. I love jazz.
when um, years ago when we were looking to uh, get a house um, we went to many different places and one house that we went to um, guy had died and they were selling his home and um, in in the uh, living room area there was boxes and boxes and boxes of jazz LPs albums and I sat there going through them there must have been like 2,000 LPs of jazz and I was interested in buying some of them so talked to the guy that was there and he said nah he goes I think they're uh, they're interested in selling the whole thing to one person the whole collection and I go yeah it's gonna be a ton of money for that uh, you know I was thinking like maybe 30 or 40 records that I wanted but they wouldn't they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't break the collection and I understand that but uh, you know I was like looking at all these jazz legends in there so yeah love jazz this copy has Bob Dylan in it, the Black Keys, which I love, um, Miles Davis, of course, and the story of the, the Stones, Exile at 50, I guess that album came out 50 years ago, so yeah, but um, Uncut and Mojo, Uncut and Mojo, those are my two favorite music magazines so anyway pick up a copy Madonna